people who are dissidents to establishment orthodoxy mm-hmm. for good or for bad right. are the people who become the most threatening and therefore the most attacked and the most demonized. How would, you know, so I guess let's talk about Tucker a little bit. What does he have to do where it's like something happens and he disappears? I think, you know, one, I think the tactic that you saw is remember after that massacre in Buffalo where Mm -hmm. the guy who was influenced by the people he said he was influenced Mm -hmm. by a long list of people, not Tucker Carlson. Right. Um, you know, went into a, a grocery store in a particularly, in a predominantly black part of town right. that he chose for that reason and shot 10 people. Instantly, there was an attempt to put the blood of those people at the doorstep yeah. of Tucker Carlson. So I think the strategy is to isolate him as this grave threat that we cannot tolerate. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember, but Glenn Beck had a bigger audience at five o'clock hour, which mm-hmm. is not a very, you know, yeah, not a great hour. popular hour yeah. for television. Than Tucker had. I mean, he had yeah. he was breaking insane amounts of right. records, and at the peak of his popularity, he was off Fox News mm-hmm. because he had become so radioactive to establishment mm-hmm. uh, prerogatives that no advertiser was willing to touch him, and Fox mm-hmm. got rid of him, even though he was bringing in many right. millions of people. So I think there's a line that you can't cross, no matter how large your audience size mm-hmm. is, and I think Tucker is flirting with that line, and you saw the kind of attempt to basically start to yeah. say that he is too dangerous to all on air. 